Users of inductive automation's ignition can integrate the multitude of different available process hardware using a variety of native drivers as well as OPC UA or DA connections to other data servers with drivers available for other hardware types not supported by a built-in ignition driver. OmniServer is a user configurable OPC UA and DA server that allows users to create custom protocols using device manufacturer documentation detailing the communications protocol, all without having to write custom code. In this video, we will walk through how to connect Ignition as an OPC UA client to the OmniServer Universal Server for integrating non-standard devices such as barcode scanners, scales, RFID systems, sensors, and more. For this demo, I already have a topic defined in OmniServer, as you can see here, that will simulate device data to prove our OPC connection with Ignition is working correctly and showing changing data. The process for collecting data from topics using your own custom protocol for your own devices in OmniServer would be identical. So you can see here, my topic is named SIM device. We'll need to remember that later when we're browsing for tags. Uh, and I'm using the client underscore test protocol that installs with OmniServer as a simulation protocol with the random device, which generates ran simulated random device data. Anyone can use this combination of protocol and device for testing to simulate live data to test your client connection settings. If I go to the protocol section and open the client test protocol, and then if I go to the items list, here's the list of available items that I'm going to have uh, to choose from when I'm browsing later. Uh, for this demo, I'm going to be connecting to the float read and boolean read items that you can see here. Uh, we'll get to that later when we're browsing from uh, our ignition project. So with my OmniServer set up to simulate the data I need, next I'm going to go ahead and close this protocol and go back over to my OmniServer configuration. I just want to double check my OPC UA settings to confirm the parameters needed when setting up my ignition UA client connection to OmniServer. For the purposes of this video, my OmniServer UA server is already configured with my desired endpoint and security. We'll link you to a full tutorial video at the end of this video that walks through full details of the OmniServer OPC UA server settings. So to get to the UA server settings, I'm going to go to the Clients section, and then I'm going to open the OPC UA properties by double-clicking. For those not familiar with OPC UA, an OPC UA endpoint, as you see here, uh, for a server is used by OPC UA clients like Ignition to connect to OmniServer, and each endpoint has its own unique properties. So I'm going to go ahead and open the endpoint listed already, as you can see here, by double-clicking on it. And this is the endpoint I'm going to be connecting to from Ignition. You can see the URL uh, here for the endpoint, which consists of the standard UA prefix of OPC .tcp colon forward slash forward slash followed by the machine name where my OmniServer is installed so in this case my machine name is SWTB-LT-028 followed by a colon and then the port number which is 27730 by default and that port is configurable uh, as needed. Uh, this particular endpoint is available for local or remote connections in the event that Ignition happens to be located on a different machine. Uh, if desired, you could also set this, this particular endpoint to be local only, which means only local OPC UA clients would be able to connect to it, but remote clients would not. So under the, under the certificate settings, uh, you can see we're using a self-issued certificate. Though OmniServer fully supports using security certificates from third-party certificate authorities, such as VeriSign. Under security, OmniServer supports the latest encryption methods. We'll be using BASIC 256 SHA-256 for this demo, which is enabled, as you can see here. We'll come back to the Client Certificates section after we've made our first connection attempt from Ignition, as there is one additional step that will be necessary after that. I'm going to close out of there. Uh, now I can move on to the Ignition configuration. So I'm going to go to my browser, and you'll see that uh, I, have, I have Ignition open in my browser here. In my Ignition Gateway configuration, I'm going to go to Config. And then I need to scroll down on the left-hand side here to OPC Client. I'm going to go to OPC Connections. Next, I need to cr click the Create New OPC Connection. And I'm going to keep the default option of OPC UA because that's the connection we want to make. And I'm going to click Next. 
and for the endpoint uh, I just need to enter the endpoint that we confirmed from the Omni Server UA configuration. So I'm going to enter opc.tcp colon slash slash swtb dash lt dash 028 colon 27730. And I'm going to click next, choose server below. The server corresponding to my Omni Server endpoint is listed and selected, so I just need to click next, select endpoint. All available secur security options are listed for my Omni Server endpoint. I'm going to select the third option, which you can see here, um, that uh, uses basic 256, SHA-256, as I mentioned earlier, with sign-in encrypt, which is quite secure. So I'm going to go ahead and select that, scroll slightly, and I'm going to click Finish at the bottom. Here we can review the selections I've previously, previously entered, and I'm going to go ahead and click Finish to complete. Now I can finish configuring my UA settings for this connection. Uh, for the name, I'm just I'm going to give this a meaningful name, and I'm just going to call this Omni Server UA, so that it's easier to find later uh, when we're browsing for tags. And then we're going to keep the default for everything else. It's enabled. We don't want it to be read-only, um, and. Uh, uh, while uh, I can require user authentication in OmniServer, it is not currently enabled, so it's not necessary for me to specify username and password. So we're going to leave those blank at this point, and then we're going to go ahead and click Create New OPC Connection at the bottom. I'm not going to save that. Now, uh, you can see that my status reads as faulted. Now, this is because uh, we need to establish a trust relationship uh, for their certificates exchanged between OmniServer and Ignition. Uh, so uh, I need to go back over to my OmniServer endpoint properties. So I'm going to bring my OmniServer back up, open my OPC UA properties, open my endpoint, and I need to go to the client certificates section. And uh, here you'll notice an entry under rejected for Ignition OPC UA client. All I need to do is select that entry. I'm going to click on this left arrow and uh, you'll see that that's now added to the trusted list so uh, I can go ahead and click OK to accept that change and OK again to accept and I just want to click yes here to make sure those changes take effect now okay so now we can go back over to ignition and you'll see the status is still faulted so last but not least I now need to trust Omni Server certificate in ignition uh, so here in the gateway I need to scroll down and go to OPC UA and select the security section. As you can see, Omni Server Certificate is listed under the Quarantined Certificate section for clients. Uh, now I simply need to click the green trust button next to it, and you'll see that that moves, that moves my Omni Server Certificate up to the Trusted Certificates. Uh, so we should be good to go. I'm going to go back to the OPC Connections section. And you can see that my status now shows as connected. So now I want to add a few items from my OmniServer topic to a basic visualization window in the Ignition Designer. I already have a project and a window configured. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my designer and launch my project. I'll take just a second to load up. I just need to enter my username and password. Okay, here's my project. I want to go ahead and open my project. Okay, so in my project, I'm going to go ahead and open my open my Omni Server uh, basic full size window. And uh, in the Tag Browser section on the left over here, uh, I'm going to add a new folder uh, to the Under the Tags folder called OmniServer. So I'm going to click here, select New Folder, and I'm just going to call that OmniServer. And that'll just help, help us keep our tags organized. Now if I expand that, select the OmniServer folder, 
Uh, I just need to go ahead and click the Browse OPC Servers button, which is this button right here that's next to the Folders option. So I'm going to click that. You'll see the OPC Browser opens up. I need to expand OmniServer UA, which is the name that I gave my OPC UA connection uh, uh, sh a short while ago. I need to expand the SWToolbox.OmniServer folder. And here is my topic, SIM device, that we saw earlier. So I need to expand that. And here are my available items for that particular topic. So, as I said earlier, I'm going to grab my float read and drag it back over to my folder. And I'm going to grab my boolean read and drag it back over to my OmniServer folder. And I'm going to close the browser, expand that folder. And uh, you'll see that I already have uh, good data and changing values for these particular items from OmniServer. So, as if that wasn't proof enough that our connection is successful and we're successfully reading uh, data from OmniServer, I'm going to add a simple numeric text field to my window and a two, a two states toggle uh, field for each of me, each of my items, and then I just need to drag my float read to the numeric text field. Expand that out so that the full value fits and you'll see that one's already changing and then I'm going to drag my boolean read over to the toggle as you can see the values from OmniServer start to update in these visual elements immediately uh, this is a mere simple example of how to integrate uh, OmniServer non-standard data with Ignition for visualization uh, as you can see, connecting Ignition to OmniServer via OPC UA is straightforward and secure. OmniServer can easily be used with Ignition for integrating live data from scales, barcode readers, printers, waybridges, sensors, RFID systems, intercom systems, vibration sensors, and all of your quote-unquote other devices that aren't using a standard off-the-shelf protocol. Our tutorial video on setting up OPC UA and OmniServer is listed here, and you can also get a free trial of OmniServer as well. As always, if you have questions beyond what either this video uh, or the video on OmniServer OPC UA setup answer, don't hesitate to reach out to our support team using the information provided here.